Narcissus was a very handsome young man, the son of the river god Cephasis and the nymph Liriope, whom the river god had seduced by touching her with its waters. Although he was surrounded by the love and admiration of those who met him, Narcissus remained indifferent to the attentions and amorous proposals, preferring hunting, being very skilled in this domain. A variant of the myth says that his father was Amaranthus, the faithful companion of Artemis, the goddess of hunting. And that's why he was so passionate about this activity. The beautiful nymph, Echo, fell madly in love with the handsome young man, but she too was rejected. She died, crushed by the longing for love seeing that her love was not shared. It is said that her voice continued to live for eternity on Mount Helicon. Eventually, Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, decided to punish Narcissus by making him see his face in the water of a spring. The young man fell in love with that image, and never left that place where he saw his face in the mirror of the water, longing with all his heart for his reflection. So it turned into the flower that bears his name. His body disappeared, leaving the splendid daffodil in place. To this version of the myth, which is the best known, are added others, with a few variations. Narcissus was a young man from Thespiae, a town in the Boeotian province of ancient Greece, which also exists today. He was hopelessly loved by another young man named Amanias, who was very insistent in his declarations of love for Narcissus. Bored by his admirer's attention, Narcissus sent him a sword as a gift, and Amanias, in desperation, committed suicide, invoking at the same time, a divine curse against the one he loved. The curse was to make Narcissus fall in love with himself. The gods fulfilled his wish, and made Narcissus fall in love with himself, when he saw his face mirrored in the water. Desperate for his unfulfilled love, Narcissus committed suicide with his sword, as had Amenias. In the place where his blood flowed, the flower bearing his name sprang up. Another variant of the myth tells that Narcissus tried in vain to reach his own image, throwing himself into the water to touch his reflection, and he drowned. The daffodil later sprouted from his body. A different version, mentioned by Pausanias, recalls that Narcissus had a twin sister with the same name, who accompanied him on hunting and wildlife adventures in the forest. Narcissus loved his sister very much, and when she died prematurely, he was overwhelmed with grief. One day, looking into the water of a spring, he saw his face and confused it with that of his sister. From then on, though he knew the truth, that the reflection is his own and not his sister, he continued to stare into the water in a desperate attempt to establish a connection with the lost sibling. After some time, he died in that spot, and from his body, a beautiful Narcissus sprouted. These were the four versions of the Narcissus myth. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Mythos, the Historian. And if you really did enjoy it, please like the video. And if you look forward to new videos on my channel, Please subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when new videos arrive.